Beach here, and we're just about set to kick off. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway. The teams are lined up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Empty backfield, quarterback in the goal, five wide receivers. Build their confidence. 
It's second and 15. Ball on the 36 yard line. And he's tackled right around the 36 yard line. Great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make the play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. It hands the distance. And he flips the uprights. Great snap and a perfect hole. And he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 7-3 for Utah. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kick. can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the wind to the field to be able to eventually put the points up. The catch is going to be a to keep that top of the on this drive. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 23 yard line, second down. Utah holds a four point lead. They're going to go after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. And he has another corner. And down he goes at the 35. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. the return man. Field. 
takes the ball inside. Gains his way to the 46-yard line.
give them all the credit in the world, not only are they executing well, but they're finding the mismatches and taking advantage of them. They move the ball very effectively on their last drive, and it ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sidelines, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop on this game. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on the field. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is, if any defense coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. Change it up. Try something different. It's not working. You can't continue to do it. Just about set to start the second quarter. Start there. Paul Stout, 
possible. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest of the flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. He'll try to knock this putt down inside the 20. And he's got to be happy with that putt, sir. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. Not looking a long way to go to even think about a score. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things change in a big way before halftime. Hold on to the football. You know, he's a big physical athletic guy. But you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Here we go! 
makes it to the 34. From the 34 yard line, first down. second touchdown in the first half alone by running the football. And I think, again, this is what this team is supporting in the so mid during the week. It's trying to figure out not just how to stop the running game and the passing game, but how to account for a running quarterback. Right now, this defense does not have an answer to slow them down. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. And this offense needs to start playing some emotional football. down inside the tent. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mount is up front way to create holes for the run game and help them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he hits a ball at the 18-yard line. looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Utah is winning big. Move around the corner. And out to the 30. Easy to the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. And he will score. And for Williams, he goes over the 100 yard mark for rushing. And the linemen are doing a great job of keeping the initial tacklers away and getting a good downfield push. I know that's helped them a lot today. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides.
it downfield. He picked it off. This time it's the safety. to a close. Folks, it's uh, been a little more lopsided than we thought. Utah is running away with it. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Kirk Street to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire football career dating back to Pee Wee. That would be infinitely more interesting than having to watch the second half of this blowout. <laughs> Definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. We get on games all the time, they start to get out of hand, you gotta empty the bucket. So guys, back to you, have some fun, tell me something I don't know. These teams are pretty boring. Give me something from the human interest file, Brad Nessler. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Really a lopsided ball game, and we're just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. give their kickers some time. And he just got stood up right there. And for Williams, he did a very good night running the ball. Yeah, he sure is, Brad. And the thing that really impresses me is his ability to make the first guy miss. Anytime you can make that guy miss, it allows you to turn a routine play into a big play. It seems like every single time he touches the football, something big happens for this offense. If I were the offense coordinator, I would continue to find unique ways to get the football in his hand. His success on the ground is one reason why his team's got the lead. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Utah looking to add to this big lead here. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. third down 
out of this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Try to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. With a quick throw. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 20 yard line. Second down. Hands off, and not much room there. They try to work the left side. ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Utah, looking to put this game away if they score here. He is drilled again. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfired. And here's a quick throw. Very firm effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Another miscue for this team? They're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. First and ten. Ball on their own 12. They come out in an empty backfield. Utah, a 
We resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Looking wide, intercepted. Hanson Bigelow. That was just a sloppy pass. But now they can afford to live with it. on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. So much in football is about how you respond to your person. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Let's go with a run. He's dropped down in the backfield. From their own 29 yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got 
the upper hand right now late in this game. Hobbs waiting the return. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Takes it out to about the 43. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Utah comes to the line in complete control of this game. Sets up the screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle made. 42. That brings us second to nine. And it carries a long for a nice game. From the 38 yard line. Third down. They come out of a five wide set. He's going to try and scramble. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's scooped up by the offense. From the 32 yard line, it's first down. to pick up the first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Pitch out, half the corner, and he tackles him hard, the 26 yard line. Utah in control. but it's long enough, and it's good! Phillips gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, but he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. And he throws it away. So when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into cover. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. to go in the fourth quarter. And this one is a beauty. 
takes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Yeah, they're dialing up some good blitzes, disguising them very well. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. Even with all the pass protection issues, they still have the lead. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. I expect him to run the ball to the clock and put this one in the book. Gives it up the gun. And down he goes. Well, the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide.